that was absolutely splendid, Mel. Thank you, Doctor. Mm. Quite the best nut roast I can remember. Well, it took me a while to get to grips with that peculiar oven back there, but it wasn't bad, was it? Oh, delicious. <laughs> uh, the food machine is a useful device, but it lacks panache if you fancy anything more adventurous than bacon and eggs. So, what would you like to do now? Well, this is your Christmas Day, remember? Yes. This is a very good idea of yours, actually. Well, that's the thing with time travel. It's so easy to let things slip. I forgot to celebrate my birthday for two decades once. Still means that nobody knows how close to the big 930 I really am. Your secret's safe with me, Doctor. <laughs> you know, this rather reminds me of the Christmases back home in Pease Pottage. Mm? Presents, lunch, a roaring fire, bliss. <laughs> Shame about the temporal drift compensators. They'll soon dry out. And it was a lovely thought to make it snow in the control room. Yeah, but not very practical, eh? <laughs> I never could resist showing off. <laughs> anyway... What shall we do now? What was the form back home? Well, we'd just sit around, perhaps have a sherry, and watch the Queen's speech. Well, the sherry's no problem. It is Christmas, after all. Mmm. Oh, that's lovely. And as for the other... <sighs> what do you think, Mel? What is it? Hmm? Oh, I'll take the dust sheet off. Ah. Mm. What is it? This, Miss Bush is the time-space visualizer. Oh. We can tune into any event, anywhere in the universe and any when in history. The Queen's speech should be no problem. Mm. Now, where did I put that remote control? Are you sitting on it, Mel? Oh, is this it? Ah. <sighs> Let's see. The Queen's speech. Something's beginning to come through. <laughs> May have the body of a weak and feeble woman. But I have the heart and stomach of a king. <laughs> I think you might have gone a little too far back, Doctor. Well, if your country will have two Queen Elizabeths... I suppose it won't be top of the pops next, either. Perhaps we shouldn't risk it, eh? <laughs> well, happy Christmas, Doctor. <laughs> happy Christmas, Mel. And a very Merry Christmas to all of you at home. <laughs>